Now, in response to the current or recent economic times, many, if not most companies, were actually forced to cut their spending in R&D. But at National Instruments, we chose to do the opposite. As we've done in past downturns, we increased our overall investment in research and development. And one particular area that we focused a lot of that new R&D on is RF and wireless tests. To talk about the latest NI offerings from RF, please welcome David Broadbent and Philip Tong. Good morning. Thank you. So guys, we've made a major investment in RF and wireless. What's new? What have you been up to? John, we've had a very busy year. Now, this year we've expanded our RF toolkits to include GSM, Edge, WCDMA, YLAN, GPS, fixed WiMAX, and mobile WiMAX. We've also released new multi-channel vector signal analyzers and generators to perform MIMO prototyping as well as multi-channel test. Additionally, we've released a new 18 gigahertz USB power meter and two 8 gigahertz programmable amplifier and attenuator modules. All right, so you guys have clearly been busy. Is there anything else? Yeah, I actually do have one more for you. So in response to an overwhelming number of requests, we're pleased this year to introduce the NI PXIE 5630, industry's first PXI vector network analyzer. Optimized for automated test, this module delivers fast, flexible, and accurate network analysis in a compact two-slot PXI module. All right, so for many of us that are not RF engineers, myself included, can you explain to us what is a vector network analyzer? For electrical engineers, a network is simply a connection between point A and point B, including transmission lines, filters, and even free space. A vector network analyzer, or a VNA, is capable of characterizing a network's response over a range of frequencies and power. For example, one function of a VNA is to measure the impedance mismatch between two components. Now, an impedance mismatch causes a signal reflection, which can result in power loss and distortion. Consider when you look out a window. For example, when you're looking out a window, you can see your reflection in the window as a portion of the light reflects back, but most of the light transmits through the window. Now, a VNA is able to measure both the incident, transmitted, as well as, well as the reflected signals, and fully characterize that effect in RF components. By measuring these effects, we can match the source and load impedance with its complex conjugates, resulting in maximum power transfer. This is what us RF engineers call a perfect match. OK, perfect match. Now, I know you guys have been busy, and so that's affected your social lives. But is this the best you could do? Uh, I mean, a PXI matchmaker? <laughs> oh, John, can you really blame us? I mean, without it, we could spend our entire lives searching for our complex conjugates. <laughs> OK, all of you that got that joke need to go to the RF pavilion after the keynote. <laughs> Let's go to a demo, guys. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, here we have a bandpass filter connected to the PXIE 5630 to perform these precise phase, magnitude, and impedance measurements. Now, we're talking accuracies of tenths of a dB in uh, magnitude as well as tenths of a degree in phase. Now, if we take a little closer look at the, uh, excuse me, the magnitude response of the filter, we can see that with a PXI vector signal analyzer, it's a very good solution for many applications, including performing nonlinear non measurements. In blue, we can see the uncorrected response using the PXI VNA, and then by applying a user calibration that we performed this morning for this unique test setup, we can see the highly calibrated as well as highly accurate measurements shown in green. Okay, but David, you mentioned having to recalibrate for this setup. Obviously, in a production environment, that could be inefficient to have to recalibrate every setup. Is there anything we can do about that? To address these issues, we have an automatic calibration module that can perform the user calibration in just seconds. It also removes the user error from the calibration, making it fast and repeatable, Produ perfect for production and validation testers. So now with PXI RF instrumentation, you can characterize a full range of RF components, including antennas, filters, uh, power dividers, amplifiers, brains. Wait, wait, David, you said brains? I did say brains. So actually, a VNA is also commonly used to perform what's known as a materials measurement. Medfield Diagnostics, uh, with uh, assistance from NI Alliance member Previs, created what they refer to internally as a stroke radar. Now, we've talked a lot about the importance of time today, and for stroke victims, every minute can cost millions of brain cells. With this system, it's portable enough and compact enough to be placed on an ambulance, and as we can demonstrate, is able to detect internal bleeding so that proper and timely treatment can be administered. Now, with, uh, excuse me, the, the features that allowed this to happen for the PXIE 5630 was its compact size as well as its software-defined nature. And it's these same features that allow our automated test users to add network analysis to their test systems to keep pace with increasing RF performance requirements. 
All right, guys, so it sounds like we've got a lot of new technology and a lot of expanded offering for RF and wireless tests. David, Philip, thank you very much. Thank you.